Did you know Tumult Hype now gives you full control over vector shapes and shape animations? Well, this short video will get you up to speed. One of the most exciting new features of the latest Tumult Hype release is the Vector Shape tool. Yes, you heard right. You can now draw and animate vector graphics right into Tumult Hype. This opens up fascinating new possibilities. I'm talking icon animations, line drawings, character animations, and so much more. Well, today I want to give you a short introduction into the basics, but make sure to check out our other videos on that topic as well. Let's get started. First of all, let's take a look at an example in the browser. Here you can see a typical vector animation created with Tumult Hype. Animations like this usually require a lot of work with our proper authoring tool and most of the times a lot of code as well. Hype now has got you covered. If you inspect the element in the browser, you see how the shape actually gets redrawn on count level to achieve the animation. But don't worry, you can focus on drawing and animating with the timeline just like you used to in Tumult Hype. It takes care of all the rest itself. Let's take a look at how we can draw shapes in Hype. You can find the vector tools in the elements panel. You have three options here. Drawing a complete polygon, individual vector shapes, or drawing vector lines using the pencil tool. You can of course also convert basic shapes like a rectangle or ellipse into vector shapes. Place the appropriate shape and use a right click to select convert to vector shape. Now you can modify the anchor points, add new ones, change the curvature, you name it. Note that your property inspector switches from element to vector whenever editing a vector shape. You can always switch between the modes using the V key or simply double clicking on the element. Now let's take a quick look at the options here. When you select an anchor point, you can change its position and mode. The mode allows you to modify Bezier handles efficiently, which means controlling the curvature of the path at this particular anchor point. Without Bezier handles, you get sharp corners. The other three options here allow you to modify the handles asymmetrically, mirrored or disconnected. Similar to other vector drawing tools, you can use a double click on the anchor point to add and remove BZ handles. The path options give you control over line caps and line joints. This is also something you might be familiar with from other tools like Adobe Illustrator for instance. Limit represents the stroke meter limit, which defines at which point the joining paths are converted from a meter to a bevel. Yes, I admit this is a bit more techy and you will most likely not use it that much, but it's still good to know. More interesting though is the line draw value. This allows you to define in percentage values how much of the path should be visible where the path in Hype's case is represented by border value. Since you can animate any value in Hype, this offers awesome possibilities. Yes. Line drawing animations have never been easier. From handwritten text over animated charts to technical interfaces, this effect can be really handy. You might want to check out our video on line drawing animations to learn more about this stuff in particular. Note that you can switch from line draw to line dash in the interface here, which allows you to divide the path into segments. And yes, they can also be animated. And yes, this can also create awesome effects. And of course, as you guessed it, you can learn more about that stuff in another video. So check it out if you want to learn more about that. For now, let's continue our journey through the interface here in order to get familiar with the shape options here. Fill rule is important when vector paths in a shape overlap, whether the fill color should fill the entire area or spare the part in the overlapping path. Hype allows you to use open and close paths, so you can switch using the option here. If you want to create shape morphings, 
Hype offers the choice between two algorithms to best match your requirements. Remember though that the tool tries to understand what you want to create and compute the states in between. That can cause unexpected behavior, so make sure to really get familiar with the options. In fact, it is always a little tricky uh, to create shape tweens like that. In case you tried form tweens in Adobe Animate CC, you will mostly like, most likely know what I mean. The other options are pretty straightforward. The fill style defines the fill of the shape, most likely color, but you can also use gradients or images here. The border defines the stroke, including width and color. Visibility concerns the entire vector shape. Now with the pencil tool, we have some special options. Increase or decrease smoothing for more precision while drawing. Per default, the pencil tool automatically creates a line drawing animation. I mean, how cool is that? The factor in the drop down menu sets the speed of the animation. But of course, you can modify that at a later point easily using the timeline. The last option is pretty self explaining. It helps you draw accurate closed path if you want to. Once you are done drawing, the path becomes a vector shape, which you can then modify again, just like any other vector shape you created with the vector shape tool. Notice how the line draw animation is already created on the timeline. Here's a little trick. If you want to change the direction of this line drawing animation, you can simply switch the values to negative values. In this case, for instance, minus 100. Now the line is drawn exactly in the opposite direction. Last but not least, the polygon tool. This lets you draw shapes like triangles or other polygon shapes with ease. They behave like vector shapes though, so you can modify them just like any other vector shape. This was the new vector shape feature in a nutshell. Stay tuned for more videos and actual use cases for this feature in further videos. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and that you can't wait to get started on vector animations. Make sure to check out the other videos, samples and free stuff on richcontentdesign.com. As always, feel free to leave questions and feedback in the comment section below. Happy animating.